There's geese over there. If they attack me, I quit. Today I'm going to take you on a neighborhood tour of Coon Rapids. This is one of our suburbs up in the northern Twin Cities. We're going to talk about a few of the fun things to do, different amenities like the Nature Center and our schools, and then we'll take you on a tour of specific neighborhoods that I really enjoy. And we're going to get into it right now. I've actually lived in Coon Rapids with our boys for about the last 10 years and something that we really love about this area is all the nature areas. So there's a ton of trails like this they are actually tucked right through the different neighborhoods so you're usually not more than a few blocks from some trails and it's a great place if you like to get outdoors. Another one of our favorite stops in Coon Rapids is the Coon Rapids Dam which you can see right behind me. This is a big regional park in our area and a lot of people like to come down here fishing. Personally, I like to go biking on the trails. There's about a seven mile loop that we make uh, a couple times a week. There's a playground for the kids, lots of really cool stuff to do. And it's just really nice having nature so close to where we live. The city's got a bunch of really cool parks throughout too. So a few of our favorites uh, would be Sand Creek where we're at right now. This one's got redone. It's got a bunch of little league fields. And, and then Riverview Park is another really good one. That's got the big Little League complex there, um, as well as tennis and skating and all the other cool things. Uh, and then Lions Park is one of the new ones that they just redid last year. Uh, really big, nice park right on the creek there. Shopping's important to you. Coon Rapids has got a ton of that as well. On the north side of Coon Rapids is our main shopping area called Riverdale. It's just a massive area. It's an outdoor mall style, but basically all the shopping that you'd need. We've also got Northtown on the south side, which is an indoor mall, uh, and that's got a bunch as well. Let's talk real estate in Coon Rapids now, and I'm going to take you to a couple of different neighborhoods. We're going to start in the older, less expensive side of Coon Rapids. These homes are going to be built generally in the late 60s and 70s. You'll see a lot of one stories, maybe a detached garage in the older ones. And then you'll see a lot of split entry style homes, which might be different for people coming from other parts of the country. Homes in this area are much more median, so they're going to be in generally like the, the upper 200s, maybe the low 300s as a starting point. And then there's also a lot of great options for townhouses if you're looking for that as well. It can be less expensive, uh, more in the mid to upper 100s. So it could be a great option for somebody buying their first house or relocating to the Twin Cities. Rapids is part of the Anoka Hennepin School District, and nationally it's, a, it's an average rated school district, but personally we've been really, really happy with our kids in the elementary school here. The high school behind me has also got a ton of great options for electives and athletics as well, so there's generally something for everybody. other end of the spectrum for Coon Rapids, we've got neighborhoods like the Fountains where I'm at now. Now this is a newer development, definitely a little more upscale. These homes were built primarily in the last uh, maybe 10 to 20 years or so, and these are going to cost you more in the four to $500,000 range. Definitely a really nice area right next to Bunker Hills Golf Course and some different surrounding communities. There is a little bit less expensive neighborhood right next to us. That would be the older side that's more in the 80s and 90s built, and those are going to cost you between 350 and 400000 <music> 